Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to use VS Code or Visual Studio Code uh, for uh, working uh, with a SQL database. Okay, so that is the Oracle SQL database. So you may find this run SQL command line uh, prompt, uh, but this is not a uh, very uh, easy to use and it has a lot of problems in it. So we are going to use the Visual Studio Code for uh, for writing our SQL commands. Uh, so let's see how we can do that. Okay. So let's close this uh, command line. Okay. Now in the Visual Studio, just open the Visual Studio and go to this extension tab. After going to the extension tab, search for the Oracle. Okay. Now uh, you will see this uh, Oracle Developer Tools for VS VS Code. Okay. So install this. Okay. Install this extension. I have already installed it. So uh, it is on my system right now. So you install it and restart uh, the Visual Studio Code. Okay. After you have installed and restarted your Visual Studio Code, you can go to the file and create a new file. Okay. And select a language and then select SQL. Click enter. After that, you can save the file to your desired location, like I'm saving it to the desktop, okay, just to show you. Then uh, you can write any SQL command. But before writing the SQL command, we're going to connect the database, okay? So we need to connect the, our Oracle database with the Visual Studio Code. So first, make sure that your Oracle database is actually you know, running on the local host. So to do that, you just search for Start Database and click Enter. And, okay? So after you uh, click on the Start Database, uh, the database started running here, and you'll see that, and close it, and go to this particular Oracle Explorer tab here in the Visual Studio Code and click on this add option okay when you click on this add option you will uh, uh, you will see this page okay so in this page you just fill your all the uh, things as it is okay so like the host name 127.0.0.1 port number 1521 so whatever you are seeing right now in the screen uh, put everything like that okay now in the username section you will just give system okay you just give system because the default username for Oracle database is a system so uh, give that or if you have any other thing then you can give that one just then give your password okay whatever your oracle password you have set it uh, during the installation you just give that and click on save password okay and then you can click uh, on the you, you just give the other things as it is okay and you can click on the create connection okay after you click on the create connection you'll see this oracle connection is created successfully okay so after that we just go close this okay and just start writing your code okay but uh, the oracle database is now connected or okay but uh, added but not connected so to do connect it uh, that so you do not need to do this process every time that uh, you know set up process of the oracle database into the visual studio code but you need to actually connect it every time okay so just open your visual studio code and go to this particular click on this uh here we're just showing here disconnected so we'll we'll see the option you will see one option as uh, i have two uh, database set it up so that's why i'm getting two options here but you will see only one option select that and click enter okay after that you will see the your database name whatever you are given that will be displayed here and not disconnected so now you can go to go and you can start writing your uh, your code so just write uh, let me write a sample code here okay just write i'm writing create table my uh, my own table my own table and i'm just writing the uh, probably age int and then uh, name and uh, then probably, uh, yes name gotcha okay so i'm writing these things now after writing this thing i can run this command okay so to run this command i can right click on it and you can i can execute the sql command okay right click over the particular uh, line and you can say execute the command or you can use the keyboard shortcut like control e when you click on the execute command it will it will give as a display that the table created okay just like the uh, oracle terminal okay so just go back to this okay now we can write more commands uh, to it like uh, so let me show with a full uh, full uh, i have written already a quote so i will show you with that okay so now I have written many codes here and I will show you how you can execute the code. So let's suppose there is a code for the table ex uh, creation. Okay. So I'm just right clicking, right clicking over it and I'm just writing execute. Yeah, I'm clicking on the execute SQL. Okay. And after I create execute SQL, I'll see the table has been created here. Okay. So to see it better, I can actually uh, use this particular split window feature and I can just drop it here. Okay. So I'm just going to click on cross and it will be side by side. Okay. So and then I can click on over the create table, the uh, create shipment table, I can create the execute and it will execute itself. Okay. And after that, if I want to let's suppose execute all these codes, then I can write here and execute SQL and it is all executed. Whatever I have selected, all the lines are executed. Okay. Then let's suppose I want to describe the table. So shipment table. So I can click over the description shipment and click on execute the SQL. And it is actually use getting that. You know, the this uh, command is executed. Okay. So if I want to run all the commands at once, I can use right click and click on execute all. Or if I want to execute one by one, then I can do that as well. Okay. So execute that particular SQL query, okay? So, and it will be saved in a .sql file, so you don't need to write every time, every, okay? It. So, let's suppose I want to now so see the table, particular table, okay? So, I have a command written here, 
like select uh, all the shipment table right right i think i have executed the shipment table so uh, yeah the customer table okay let's suppose i want to you know display the customer table so i have right click over the uh, customer table i can say execute sql and you see that the, all the customer names and details all the customer table basically is displayed on the screen here and it is beautifully dis uh, displayed on the screen okay so and now you can uh, you know uh, very easily you can run your sql queries and sql commands you can easily use uh, you know you can easily copy paste and do anything whatever you want you just copy the uh, code okay so let me change it so i just change it i have just changed the values to here okay i am just probably change this value as well and run, now i just right click on it and right click on execute and that sql is executed now if i just again go to this particular i want to uh, execute the customer select table and i just executed it and you see the new uh, actually right so or uh, probably segment table it is so right click on segment table okay so now you see that particularly uh, that particular field that i have added right now it is uh, added to the segment table right so in this way you can actually use it uh, uh, VS, uh, use the vs code to run your virtual command thank you